Acceleration is simply the rate of change of velocity. More simply put, that's how quickly or slowly something speeds up or slows down. Now, there are two main things that affect the acceleration of an object, the force applied to it and the mass of the object. Newton summed this up in his second law, which is that F equals M times A, or force equals mass times acceleration. In this practical, we're going to look at varying the effect of mass and seeing how that changes the acceleration of a body. And to do that, we need this equipment. The main part of equipment is this, a dynamics trolley. That's simply a wooden block on wheels. I've attached it to a string, which is attached to a mass hanger. Now this mass hanger is going to provide my force because when I let this drop over the side of the table, gravity will pull it down. It will pull it down with one newton of force, and that's because this mass hanger weighs 100 grams, or 0.1 kilograms. Because weight equals mass times gravity, and gravitational field strength on Earth is 10 newtons per kilogram, 0.1 times 10 gives me one newton. I'm going to attach it over this pulley here to make sure it runs smoothly in the right direction. I've also put a carpet down on the floor so that the mass will fall onto that, and it's a good reminder to not put your feet there because if it falls onto them, it might hurt quite a lot. I also need to be able to look at the acceleration of the trolley. And to do that, I'll be using something called ticker tape. Now, ticker tape is just a long strip of paper that is fed through this, which is called a ticker timer. A ticker timer simply is a vibrating pin that vibrates 50 times per second when it's attached to a power source. The power source needs to be AC and should be set at about 6 to 12 volts. Now, as the pin vibrates, it puts a tiny dot onto the paper. If the paper is moving, those dots spread further apart. The faster the paper moves, the further apart the dots are. So we can use this to have a measure of how quickly the dynamics trolley is moving. So, all I need to do now is start the experiment. When I turn this on, it will be quite loud. So, if we look at the ticker tape, we can see that at this end, the dots are really close together. That means at the start, the trolley was moving very slowly. If we see later on, the dots have moved much further apart. That means the trolley was moving more quickly. So it's accelerated as it's travelled along the bench. And that makes sense because we saw it get faster. Now, usually, you'd repeat this experiment five or six more times with different masses on the mass hanger to provide a different force each time to see the effect of how increasing the force changes the acceleration. I'm going to do it once more with three newtons of force pulling the trolley so we can compare the difference between the two ticker tapes. Okay, so I'm ready to run the experiment again. And now I'm going to add two more masses onto my hanger to make it three newtons of force that are pulling the trolley along. Once again, when I turn on the ticker tape, it'll be quite loud. Straight away, you could see that that moved much more quickly towards the end. The acceleration was greater. But let's see if we can prove that using the ticker tape to help us. So if I lay the two out next to each other, we can see that on the second experiment, the dots are much, much further apart than on the first experiment. The trolley was moving much faster. Now that's proving that the higher the force, the more acceleration the trolley will experience. 
And this proves Newton's second law, that the more force you put onto a body, the more acceleration it experiences, because F equals MA, or force equals mass times acceleration. Increase the force, you increase the acceleration. 